Okay, so this is one of those strange kind of situations here. We got a thumb turn and that won't turn. And it's not bound up inside there. We took it all the way out and it's still, it will not turn. That should spin fairly freely. So I thought maybe it might be fun to just kind of go ahead and troubleshoot this thing here and see what we got going on. So we'll start by taking the Adam's right tailpiece off and see what is going on with this because there's no pin there shouldn't be any pins or anything in here to to bind this up so it's kind of strange what exactly might be going on in here ah. and it's still even with that it's still locked up put some pressure on this and we'll put it in a vise generate some torque and maybe just break it free one time here. <clears throat> Not gonna happen. <clears throat> okay, we'll go the other way. Like so damage the threads too much. Oh, that is a lot of torque generated on this thing. Let's see here. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so it broke free once. Huh. So basically just forced it open. Let's see. What on earth? It's like there's I think we need to follow it out with a follower. Okay, so there's a ball bearing in there. Might just need to be lubricated here. So that's what's kind of jamming everything up. If you can see there, is there's a ball bearing there and it looks like there's quite a bit of corrosive material around here. I'm gonna take that off and there's a spring inside there. So it seems like it may just need some lubrication. Um, and I don't know what this stuff is, but that's some corroded, nasty stuff. Um, so that's a little bit strange. We'll uh, lubricate this thing up. Let's see here. We use something a little bit thicker, like this stuff here, because this will kind of stick to it. We use some Teflon uh, semi-dry. This stuff's a little bit thicker than your average lubricant, so it'll kind of help stick on there a little bit. You can see how it doesn't, it's not quite as thin as the regular Teflon. We'll just coat this thing up and see if that solves our problem. Dump some down in that little hole too. <clears throat> Try not to lose our ball bearing. Oh. I'll just paint this whole thing with this stuff here. So I am betting that that will fix our problem. Put this in here. Push that in, bingo. Nice and smooth as can be. So that's what it was, definitely. I'm gonna just go ahead and squirt some more stuff in here too, as we go. Okay. Put some up in those top chambers, and then that way that'll stay in there, so. <coughs> So now instead of having to replace this unit, um, we can just repair it. And that looks as though it'll work just fine now. So we'll just go ahead and... So just breaking it free that one time, I don't know exactly what would cause that to build up that, that nasty chemical layer, but uh, or that corrosive layer. But whatever it was did, um, 
this is at a place where there's a lot of chemicals and, and things like that in the in the vicinity stored by this particular unit. So I am guessing that it's gonna be what caused that. And these screws I already have some uh, thread Loctite type of stuff on them, so we don't really need to reapply any of that. I'll just put those back on there and tighten this back up, and then we'll be able to reuse it. I uh, don't have to sell the customer a new part. Uh, we were able to repair that one, so we're not using our in stock supply. And uh, that's just one of them weird things that you're going to run into in the field. Um, and just due to the environment uh, uh, that was surrounding this, um, that was the solution. So we basically forced it over. The solution to the problem was to force it over, get that ball bearing to drop in there one more time, pull it out, uh, lubricate that stuff up, uh, and um, notice that there was some corrosion and stuff going on in there. Uh, put the good uh, Teflon uh, thicker lubricant in there, and um, customers should be happy. So thanks for watching. Hey guys, it's the end of the video. Um, you know, help me out and help me help you out. Uh, right below the description box right here is a red subscribe button. Subscribe to me and then you're going to get the latest and greatest information that I put out. Sometimes it applies to you, sometimes it doesn't. Um, you know, it, it's just going to at least let you know that uh, we're putting out new and current information. And then right over here is a thumbs up button. Give me a thumbs up. Help this video uh, rank higher in the searches for the search terms that you're using and let other people be able to see this. Um, you know, that's the best way you can help. Interact. Leave a comment. I will get back with you if I can and try and help you answer your questions. But the more you interact and post this to Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and spread this through the social media, uh, the more that allows me to be able to help do more videos. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, subscribe share and like. Thanks a lot guys. Appreciate it.